Hello everyone, in previous uh, guide we went over the most basic uh, binding in Calibre, that is by name. Sometimes it is not enough. For example, if we want to bind not to the default uh, event of the control, in our example we had a button and the default uh, action for button is click, but sometimes we want to bind to double click or maybe right mouse button click. Uh, we can do that uh, with uh, an, an attached property that Calibre Micro provides us. And uh, I will demonstrate how to use that right now. First, we need to import Calibre Micro namespace. I just pasted it right now, but it's very important. So we will remake this. Uh, button control to use the attached property to bind to a low clicked method. Here we have to specify the action and event in a very specific way that Calibre Micro requires. It starts by event, then we have write the event name since i don't remember the exact event name i will just write a placeholder equals action the method name we don't need this anymore now how do we get these event names uh, we go to Microsoft documentation for this button control. We select the button, press F1, documentation will open. Now we have section events. Here's all the events we can use. Let's use uh, mouse double click instead of single click. Mouse double click. Okay. God damn it, let me copy this. Okay, never mind. I will write it myself. Here we go. Now our application should expect a um, mouse double click. And then it should call this hello and this hello click method and it should change the title. Let's see how it works. Okay, I left uh, this not needed code from previous example. Should not have any parameters. There we go. And the title changed, and I double clicked the button. Maybe it was not visible for you if it was a click or double click, but you can try it out yourself. To go over about the syntax uh, again, first goes the event, first you write event, the name of the event, then equals an action, the name of the method. Using this method message attach, we can pass some parameters to this hello click method. However, in most cases, it's not needed. But I would not advise that. It's a good indicator that uh, something is wrong with your architecture, but uh, Sometimes we need it. Calibre allows to pass uh, uh, a set of predefined arguments. I think I will add a list of all these arguments on the screen. And for this example, I will show you just maybe one or two. 
one of them is to pass the data context that is the view model in this case it's not very useful but it's, it can be useful when we have a item collection and we want to handle one, a single uh, items click then we can pass which one of the items was clicked by passing its view model so then we have to go to the method and uh, modify it a little bit Shall we? because we know that and the data context for that uh, view is this shell we want I will add the breakpoint and launch the application. Okay, this is the model was passed. I don't do anything with it, but it's fine. Okay. We can also pass event arguments and they probably will include maybe mouse position, what button was clicked, and so on. And so on. Here's a little tip. Uh, sometimes you don't know what kind of um, event arguments uh, type we are passing, and you're lazy to go to the documentation. You can do it like this. You can specify that. It is an object. Run the application. When debugging, you will see that arguments are mouse button event args type. And we can just specify the type now. We didn't need to go to documentation. <laughs> Let's run it again. As we see, we have some arguments that specifies that we press the left button, button state, and so on. You see that rooted event is mouse double click, source, what uh, control was clicked, it's the button with a caption hello. As I said, I will add the list of all available parameters that Felmer Micro allows us to send on the screen. One thing I want to show you is that Using this uh, attached property, we can do some nice things. For example, if we wanted to make this table clickable, we could uh, do it uh, in a, a little more complicated way with uh, overwriting uh, buttons uh, control template to look like a label contain a label inside and then and attached the action to the buttons click or we can just use call message attached attach. and it will act like a click oh yeah this label probably doesn't have mouse double click but should have mouse down event it basically behaves the same as click yep that's it for this tutorial see you next time